Good evening. I'm Beaver Grills, and I'm here with my trusty golf cart in the backwoods of Herple. It's a rainy, dismal day, and it's just the perfect conditions for me to show you how to survive. Oh my god! Oh man, are you okay? Call an ambulance! <laughs> I seem to have had a bit of misfortune with the young man back there, but he is okay. Anyway, the ancient Babylonians always said you need three things to survive. Food, shelter, and clothes. And now I'm going to take care of one of those right now. And I'm going to collect some sticks to build my shelter. There, it's finished. Well, I'm not very good at building shelter. But who cares? I love freezing my balls off in the pouring, freezing rain anyway. But this is great. I got some nice openness and I'll be able to see the beauty of this Herpel Woods anyway. Now, I still got two of the three things that the Babylonians said. I got the clothes on my back and some food. I also have some other items that I've brought with me. I've got some hand sanitizer. An apple, which is the food I'll need for tonight. My Backstreet Boy CD. A tube sock. My trusty bar soap. My knife. And, well, some salt. Too bad it, too bad I can't use it. Now, I'm just going to stake it out here and see what the night brings me. Well, now that I'm all settled in, I need to get a fire going. Because this rain at Herpel is so cold, it's like crawling through the snow naked. It's almost a necessity I have to get a fire going if I want to survive the night. I've got a few things from my bag. I've got a tube sock and my soap and my Backstreet Boys CD. Now I'm going to try and rub the soap and the two socks together to try and get some sparks. Whoa, wait, wait. No, wait, never mind, that wasn't a spark. Come on, baby, give me some sparks. <laughs> I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, I failed to get a fire going, and then it's just freezing cold out here. But I still have my food. If I can just get some food in my body, I'll maybe have enough heat to last the night. Oh my god! This tastes just like gerbil turds! Oh thank god, moth! Oh, I love moss. It's so great. Okay, now that I've got some moss in my body, Maybe I have enough body heat to last the night. What I'm going to try and do is just get some sleep. Now I'm going to stay in the fetal position to maybe maintain all my body warmth that I have. Now hopefully I won't freeze to death in the night. Oh my god, I've got the runs like a madman. But if I die tonight, Sam, you better stay away from my wife. It's 2 a.m. And it's really hard to sleep when you've got the runs. And it is colder than a witch's tit in a brass bowl with a snow cone and a cleavage doing push-ups on an iceberg. In the night, I think I seem to have eaten some spiders, and I think they're still in my teeth. There's one of the little boogers. <coughs> and there's the other little badger. Well, since I got to sleep last time, I think maybe I could get to sleep again. And we'll see what the morning brings us. Man vs. Wild will return right now. Well, I did a little work on my shelter last night, but it seems to have stopped raining, so I don't need it as much. And I tried to put the stairs on, but I thought it was just a little bit too much anyway. I was very fortunate because there just happened to be a pile of boards and nails to help me build this shelter. But I think I'm going to head out today and look for some civilization. But in order to do that, I'm going to need some food and a fire. 
So right now I'm going to go try and find some supplies to build a trap to catch maybe some wild game. If you ever find yourself in the wild and you need a trap to catch wild game, this works beautifully. The ancient Babylonian learned how to make this trap. What you need is a big log and you need a smaller stick and you need to prop this up on the log. And what's that going to do when the wild game comes under the log to get the food that you set up? They're going to, it's going to fall on them and kill them. Now I just need to get this to bounce real quick and we'll be okay. That, that'll do. Ah! There. Now that I've got my trap set up, I'm going to use a few things from my bag to attract the wild game. I'm going to use the tube sock I used earlier to try and make a fire. Because it's a real vibrant red and it's very keen to the eye of wild game. And I'm going to use... My Backstreet Boys CD, because everybody loves to listen to the Backstreet Boys when they're, list when they're eating food. And finally, I'm going to use the salt that I have left to maybe, hopefully, attract some wild game. Whoa, Sam, do you hear that? I think we might have a lucky wild game early breakfast. Come with me. Get off, get off, get off! That didn't work out as planned. But if you ever find yourself with an open wound, I use my hand sanitizer to clean the wound. And now I'm just trying to stop the blood and not let the infection get in my throat, because if I do, I'm dead. But I think I'm going to go check my other trap to see if there's any food. Because, because I got to get some food in my body, especially now that I'm weak from the attack. <laughs>